Hello everybody, welcome to DKTR, my name is Darren Kamali and today we will be taking a look at the Lark-Q bottle Pure Viz to see if this self-cleaning water bottle is really worth $100. The Lark-Q Bottle Pure Viz is a double wall vacuum insulated bottle equipped with a UVC light in the cap that is able to eliminate up to 99% of biocontaminants from your water. It comes in two different sizes, a 25 ounce which I have right here which retails for 118 US dollars and a smaller 17 ounce which retails for 98 US dollars, both of which are on the high end of the spectrum for water bottles. The 25 ounce comes in four different colors, a Monaco Blue, obsidian black, seaside mint, and granite white, whereas the 17 ounce comes in the same four colors, plus additionally a Himalayan pink. Operating the bottle is simple. All you have to do is press the cap down once. That will turn on the UVC light in the lid and enter a one minute cleaning cycle that will remove 99% of biocontaminants. Or press twice to enter adventure mode, a three minute deep clean that is rated to remove 99.999% of all contaminants. And it actually does work. UVC is a low wavelength, high energy form of ultraviolet radiation that is able to destroy the DNA and RNA inside viruses and bacteria. This is the same technology that is being utilized by hospitals to sterilize operating rooms. The bottle has passed FCC standards, is ROHS compliant, has been deemed certifiably effective by the FDA, and has been tested and approved by Heron's lab. The double wall vacuum insulation will keep your drink cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. Now that we've taken a look at the bottle, let's talk about some of the pros and cons, starting with the cons. First of which being the price. 98 or 118 US dollars is a lot of money to spend on a water bottle, especially when there's a lot of great options that also filter your water for quite a bit cheaper. The next con being the way that this bottle charges. This bottle still uses a micro USB cable to charge, which is a fine cable, it's just very outdated and now everything is starting to switch to USB-C, which means that you just have to carry another cable around in order to charge this. Luckily, this bottle lasts very long on a single charge and can last you around a month without needing to charge it, so it's not that big of an issue. The next issue with this water bottle is that it cannot remove particulates. This bottle can only purify out small biocontaminants by using the UV light. That means that if you go to a river or a stream and you try to fill the water bottle up and there's little rocks or dust or dirt or any kind of particulate, it will not be able to remove that. In order to do that, you would need a physical filter inside the water bottle. However, there are negatives to that as well, considering that those filters need to be replaced and they can get quite expensive. Another issue I have would have to do with the design of the bottle itself. However, I don't see a way that this could be resolved, so it's just something you're going to have to deal with. The UV light can only purify the water inside and self-clean. However, anything past the, what the UV light can see, such as the mouth of the water bottle, will not be cleaned by the light cycles, which means that every once in a while you will have to wash that by yourself. However, the inside of the bottle is usually the hardest part to clean, so it's not that big of a deal that you have to wipe off the mouthpiece. My final issue with the water bottle is its narrow lid does not allow ice to easily go inside of it when dispensing from a water dispenser, whereas a wide mouth water bottle like the Hydro Flask can easily allow ice to go in without having to worry about it shooting off to the sides and everywhere. Now let's take a moment to talk about all of the features that make this water bottle worth it, first of which being the quality. The second you pick it up, you can really tell just how well made it is, especially when compared to other water bottles like a Hydro Flask, you really get what you're paying for when you pay for this one. By far the most beneficial part about this water bottle is its ability to clean itself. Most people don't know this, but your reusable water bottle is probably the one of the most germ infested items that you own, and not having to clean it by hand and allowing the bottle do it for you will save you a lot of time. A couple more great features of this bottle include the long lasting battery life. I know I said that the micro USB cord is kind of annoying, but it's kind of counteracted by the fact that this can last 30 to 40 days on a single charge. Another thing is, the bottle is an IPX7 water resistance rating, which basically means that you don't have to worry about the micro USB port getting wet and destroying the bottle. It should be safe underwater for a, quite a period of time. The final feature of this water bottle won't really serve a purpose day to day, however it's just a nice thing to have. This bottle has already been approved by the TSA, so it's legal for you to take onto airplanes and you don't have to worry about TSA giving you a hassle over there being a battery in your water bottle. 
The LarQ Bottle Pure Viz is a fantastic product, however, the hefty price point is going to keep a lot of people away. Compared to a normal reusable water bottle like a Hydro Flask, the LarQ Bottle has been proven to be 10,000 times more hygienic. However, if you are committed to frequently washing your reusable water bottle, the difference can be shrunk, but you will still be missing out on the purification that you get with this bottle. To some people, I believe that the LarQ Bottle will be worth the investment because of the added peace of mind it provides. As always, everything seen or mentioned in the video will be linked in the description down below. Thank you all very much for watching DKTR, I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye.